Hello, 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 hello. Happy new moon. So the sun and moon, the moon is moving away from Libra over the course of today into Scorpio, but we're still at the new moon phase. It's still the beginning of the next lunar cycle. Um, and so this is a really good time, like with every new moon, to ask ourselves, okay, what intentions do I want to be setting? How do I want to grow over the course of the next 30 days? What do I want to accomplish, especially in about two weeks time with the full moon, that being the culmination of the seeds that we're planting right now and what we're watering over the next two weeks? I think that, well, there's a lot to talk about. Um, I think first... Uh, so a couple of things have happened right since the last video like I was saying a lot of the overthinking is chilling out in a certain respect Now there is still potential for overthinking we'll, we'll get to that in just a moment But in a lot of ways the Sun has moved out of Virgo that helps in many ways um, Considering that the main source of the overthinking is Mars and Gemini square all this Virgo So we have Mercury retrograde in Virgo. We have Venus in Virgo again. We'll cover that in just a moment but I think we're seeing a lot of of smoother energy between Mars and Gemini and Sun and Libra. And I think that this plays out in us not overthinking things as per what we're doing, as per who we are as people, what we're seeking to accomplish. The Sun is such a major influence in our lives. Of course, Mercury has its place, Venus, Mars, etc. But wherever the sun is, it's a major influence. So the sun has gone into Libra. It's been there for about four days now. So our connecting with other people is helping a lot with the overthinking. I think especially since Venus and the sun are conjunct and that conjunction is closing up. So even by uh, Thursday, the sun and Venus will be conjunct in Libra. So we're in the last couple of days of Venus and Virgo too. So in general, what this means is if you're overthinking, go talk to somebody, spend time with somebody, and you can focus on what you're overthinking and like vent frustrations, that can be helpful, but also just focus on something else. I think that can be really helpful too. Um, that being said, it's really important to make sure you're not seeking to run away from things because ultimately at this time, there is a great opportunity to be thinking of, to make major breakthroughs with what we're thinking of and to, um, handle business handle details get stuff practically handled in in major ways uh, and that's again that's a huge benefit in comparison to where we've been for most of september and where you know like i said in the last video where for me and i think so many other people there was this kind of time warp thing where it was just like the mind was just going in circles with things weighing options possibilities concerns etc uh, and and just like sticking in the abstract realm of the mind and that's that's a bit different Yes, the Sun has entered Libra So it's not in the practical nature of Virgo, which was a benefit during that time, but And by the way all love to Virgo energy. It's not like there's anything wrong with Virgo or Mars and Gemini It's really important to not take any of you know these transiting energies personally or, or feel like it has to do with us of of our ourselves if we have these energies natively it's nothing like that whatsoever there's again every energy is equal in gift and challenge it's just certain transits make things quite difficult and you know in our charts certain energies are square other energies are opposite or whatever and it can create certain challenges so we never want to judge energies we never want to look down on energies etc it's really important uh, but going back to what I was saying I think with mercury retrograde in Virgo that energy is more practical it's more focused on the physical environment i've gone on so many walks since mercury's gone into virgo like miles and miles of, of walks that i usually don't do so i think that that's one really good way to handle things uh, meditation of course too but also again this is a time where we can make breakthroughs with what we're thinking about so just focusing on the details getting stuff done that's really important uh before i forget uh, so a client friend offered an awesome idea and I'm gonna do this for her um, of doing like a 15 minute transit video each week for a month to be able to get some personalized transit so of course you know like these are transit videos and this applies to everyone but as per what person's rising energy you know these all these other energies are going to be in relation to that rising in the rest of their chart it's going to be in particular places particular houses in their chart it's going to be conjunct this trying this etc so this is a chance for me to offer a service again and thank you sydney such a great idea thank you um this is such a, a great opportunity i'm i I have to be mindful of making sure I don't overload my schedule because I like to be open to do readings for people. Um, but I do have room for four other people. If you have an interest in doing 
engaging this service, basically um, you would get a 15 minute personalized transit video for you each week for the next month. And then if you want to renew, we could always do that afterwards. Um, so usually, usually it's 50 bucks for a 15 minute video. Um, so all together that would be 200, but I, I want to do you know a deal since it's in bulk. So it would just be 120 for those four weeks of personalized transit videos for you. So that's, that's a really good deal uh, considering what you're getting because that's an hour worth of video material. So again, that usually is 200. But, um, and that's nice too because especially if you want to, if you're going through a time period, you just really, uh, you just really need a bit of guidance week by week. That's what this transit experience is for. So again, I can't, I'm only going to be able to do so many. So the first four people that that message me about this either through my email um, uh, or my Facebook page, uh, I'll just look at it chronologically. So the first four people who say, yes, I want to do this, um, then I'll go ahead and uh, book those for those individuals. And I'll be able to start that. I'm booked for this week, so I'll be able to start that with um, early next week for that first video for you. So yeah, I'm really excited. Um, and uh, anybody who wants to, to hop on board for that train, there you go. Um, so anyways, back to what I was saying, I think something that's really nice with, with this lunar cycle that we're in is the sun and Jupiter are opposite each other. Now, usually oppositions can be a little bit challenging. And in certain respects here, we do, we do want to keep in mind patience. Jupiter and Aries is all about moving forward. I think in general, this lunar cycle is about patience. You know, all of September, so much of September, anyways, we had Mercury retrograde. We still have Mercury retrograde. So this lunar cycle, even though Mercury goes direct on Sunday, this upcoming Sunday, um, there is a certain element of patience because Jupiter is retrograde, Saturn is retrograde, Uranus is retrograde, and Mercury is retrograde, and Neptune is retrograde. So I think, you know, I think everybody has a feeling at this time of not being quite where they want to be with something or, or several different things. And I think a lot of it has to do with growth, with Jupiter. How do I, like, what do I want to accomplish? What do I want to experience? And especially since about May 10th or 13th, something like that of this year when Jupiter entered Aries, what started during that time that you have been really excited about and inspired by and long range growth for even the next 12 years, or at least some kind of feeling of, Ooh, I, this is really exciting to me and I can keep doing this in the future. Um, this is a really good opportunity to make progress with what we feel like we're behind on, but it's really important to keep in mind that while we're doing that, to let go of overthinking about being behind, because really everything is where it needs to be. It's this divine timing. Um, I think part of that is the Mercury retrograde square Mars. That's the overthinking part that we were talking about before is focusing too much on the details, getting too caught up. You know, that's the challenge with Earth energy in general, water energy as well. But I think specifically Earth energy in, in a Mercury is it tends to have the challenge of focusing on the negative. So if we focus on, oh, I haven't done this. Oh, that's not fixed yet. Oh, that's not there yet. Oh, I have to do so much. That's going to just take away mental energy. And it's going to defeat us. And really, I think that this month is about being excited and moving forward. Now, again, we do need to be active with those thoughts. We don't want to try and d escape from those thoughts or distract ourselves from those thoughts. But we also need to make sure that we're not giving into the negativity too much. And I think that that's really the more likely challenge to erupt is, um, oh my gosh, oh, you know, getting negative thought process. And that's just not necessary. It's not helpful. So even if we are behind with something, it's like, oh, I need to get going with that. Okay, well, that's cool. Then we'll get going with that over the next two weeks, especially, and even the next month. Um, I think that's really it. Enjoy Venus conjunct sun. That's adding a lot of lightness, uh, especially when the Venus enters, um, Libra, which should be within the next couple of days. We'll cover that in the next couple of days. As the moon moves into Scorpio over the course of today, we'll be a lot more into our emotions. That's neither good nor bad. It has a lot of benefits as per being able to feel our feelings more vividly. And it can be challenging as per if it gets intense. Either way, embrace the ride. Try and figure out where your emotional, your, your source is, the root of those emotions and make peace with it. Heal it. Um, do what you can with it. Yeah, and that's going to be going on for the next, basically the next two days, that moon Scorpio. Uh, again, meditation can be really great. Dwelling in those emotions can be really great. As long as we're seeking to do something practical with them to be able to help us to grow and to move forward. Happy Lunar Cycle. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the new moon and fantastic Lunar Cycle.
Um, as always, I'm doing readings info in the, the description. I love doing readings. I've done them for over a decade professionally, and uh, it's a major part of my life. Infinite love to you, my friends. Namaste. Peace.